Hi, this is Ivor van der Zand, SAP Analytics. If you want to provide your users with more control about the content in, for example, a table or a chart, you can consider delegating the dimension and measure selection to them. Let's have a look how that could work. Over here, I have my SAP Analytics Cloud and I'm going to create a new story. I'm going to select add a canvas page and I'm going to add a table. Analytics Cloud asks me for a model. I'm going to choose a planning model with actuals, budgets and forecasts and a structure that is not too complex. Let's have a look. Over here is my table and you can see I have a number of accounts and over here I have my version setup. Well, to uh, show you what I'm meaning, I'm going to have a look at only my actuals. And I'm going to win the accounts and I'm using add measure input control. Over here, I can indicate the measures that I want my end users to be able to select. I'm going to select gross profit, total revenue that's built up out of three and total cost that's built up out of labor cost and cost of goods. Let's select them. I'm going to drag that to the column area. And as dimensions, I'm going to create a dimension input control that allows my end users to select. I'm going to allow them to choose either between time, which has a hierarchy, and brands which, which also have a hierarchy. I OK that. Let's now make the input controls a little bit more easy to use by opening them up. So here they are. I can now, for example, I've selected time as a user. I can open up time and go to the various rows. As you can see, I made a hierarchy that goes from year to half year one to the quarters. If I now select L2 brands, me as an end user, I get another view. I again get my hierarchies on brands with drill downs that I can select. Also for the metrics on top of the screen, I can choose to see gross profit with total revenue and total cost. But if I only want to look at total cost, I just select that and I only see the total costs build up out of labor cost and cost of goods. Of course, the same idea works also for charts. Over here, you see an example with charts. Yeah, so this column chart over here, I used one measure input control and one dimension input control from which I can easily toggle time, for example, or country, and drill in the various brands, I can also change the measure that I want to have a look at. Also, what I've made is a linked analysis. If I select France, you will see that the chart on the right hand side will be down selecting only to France or, for example, France and Germany, as you can see over here. Thanks for your attention.